in this video, I'm going to show you how to take um, tracks that you've created in Soundtrap and save them into your loop library. And it's a pretty simple process. So first, um, if you look up here, this is an example of the drum tracks that you recently created. So if you started off with a single measure that you copied and pasted here, and then you created that turnaround in the fourth measure, there's an important step that you want to do first. So what you want to do is you want to click on this first region and then hold your shift key down and click on the turnaround measure. Once you have all four measures highlighted, you want to come to edit, click on edit and select merge regions. That step is really important because you want to create a single region for your drum loop. Now to add it to your loop library in Soundtrap, you just click on the edit button, select add to loop library. Now when you name your loop, I would suggest using a naming convention that will make it easier to find. So anytime I make a loop and add it to my loop library, I'm going to start off by putting my, my initials in first. Then after my initials, I'm going to put the instrument that the loop is. So in this case, it's drums. And for this example, I'm just going to call this loop one. So once you have it named, you just click on this add loop. <coughs> In just a few seconds, it'll take this and it'll mix it down. Then it'll save. And then you'll see over here that your loop library will open and your loop is right there. So if I X that out and I go back to my general loop library with all the different categories, you'll see there's a button down here that says my loops. So anytime I click on that, any of the loops I create and save are going to be over here in my loop library. Now the same thing, I have a second example over here. So another way to select all four measures is if I just click and drag to highlight all four that way. So again, I'm going to click edit, merge regions. That's an important step. Now, now you can see it's all one region. So I'll select edit, add to loop library. Again, I'm going to start with my initials. And I'll call this drum loop two. Again, it'll mix and save and add to your loop library. So you can do this with any instrumental tracks that you create in Soundtrap. So drum tracks, but uh, later you may create bass tracks, guitar tracks. Um, this is great for any time you kind of come up with an idea uh, for a song, but maybe it's not a complete song, um, that you just get an idea that you create a loop, and then you can save that loop and put it in your loop library. And then later on, when you come back into a project, when you go to My Loops, you just double click on one of the loops and it'll add your loop into your soundtrack project. Pretty cool. So what I'd like for you to try to do today is to go through the project that we did a few weeks ago and select at least two of the drum tracks that you created, merge the regions together, and then add them to your loop library. All right, have fun making music.